welcome back to another youtube video it's your girl kiki and did i tell y'all i got a son yes i got me a new little kitty named franklin but franklin let me tell you about him that boy does not know how to use the bathroom so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a diy enclosed litter box perfect for your kitty perfect for your house cats like i said franklin he is adorable but he trails his litter all over my house when he poos it smells like ooh. so i'm going to be showing you guys how to make one that is enclosed let's get into it so you're going to start off by finding a big enough knife, something not too fancy, you don't really care about because it's going to go on the stove eye. You want to make sure that the plastic at the beginning of the knife, yeah, keep that away from the eye. We're not trying to burn shit up. You want to turn that eye on high, just like a hot comb. All my black girls know. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're starting really basic. I picked up these litter pans or litter boxes, whatever you want to call them, for a buck at my local Dollar Tree. As you can see, it is pretty decently sized. And it is very good for a kitten or a regular size home cat. I got two of them, like I said, because you're going to need two to make an indoor kind of litter box for your little fella. We're also going to need some nails. So I picked these up from the Dollar Tree as well, guys, for a buck. And I'm going to be using the larger ones for his litter pan. You're also going to want to make sure to get some hot glue and a glue gun. If you don't have one, it's optional, but I just want to make sure mine is secure in the end. So I've already initially marked on my box where I want his cutout to be at. I made sure to measure. I kind of put my kitten up to the box and seen a big enough hole where he could get through. And then I just marked it. You can use a Sharpie if needed. But what I'm going to basically do is get that hot knife and then just come through and try to make kind of a motion, circular motion, to kind of make it where he can get out and in, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get into it and see how this turns out. So I'm just trying to maybe bend that down to make it a little bit easier for me to be able to cut through it. All right, so measuring the same spots, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just making little indents so I know where. And as we can see, we have our bottom portion done. With the top on and the screws and everything, it's gonna be looking like that. Now, not everything has to be perfect, but you guys get the gist. You also wanna make sure that the edges of your pans are not too rough, that way your kitten can get in and out comfortably. But as you can see, I also made sure on the sides that no gravel or any of the litter would come out of the box. I made sure to cut at a good distance. And also, I know when to stop filling when I'm doing the litter box. As an extra precautionary, I'm even going to the lengths of adding a little hot glue, being that he just used the bathroom. I'm going to add some hot glue to the ends just to make sure it's not too rough for my little kitty. And so now his little stomach shouldn't be scraping it or anything. Just a little extra protection. show you guys the easiest method I found to cleaning the knife if you're going to do the knife process. What I did was got a napkin, just wiped it down, trying to get the majority of the plastic off. Of course you're not, and eventually the napkin's going to start getting stuck as so. That's kind of what you want though. You want to wipe it down and try to get that napkin stuck to there as much as possible. And now what I did was turn some water on, got some soap pads, SOS pads, whatever you want to call them, and I just got scrubbing and it came right off. If you don't have any SOS pads, I don't really know what to tell you, but this process here worked very nice for me. If you do it without the napkin, it doesn't come off as easily. Alright guys, so I did the majority of my knife. Now this isn't just an important knife, so I'm not going to really work too hard in it. I'm just going to pop it back in the dishwasher. But that is a quick process how I removed most of the plastic. Alrighty guys, so the method I'm going to be showing you guys is actually pretty simple. Like I said, I am not a toolsy type of girl. So if you guys have any other methods or some type of other way to do this, I would say go with it with all precautions. So what I'm going to be doing is basically lighting this end of my nail and then sticking it and inserting it into the bottom portion of the litter box. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about in just a second, but my method is to heat it up basically 
and then it's gonna push right through the plastic. Don't have screws, you can always use a knife, a butter knife or a sharp one. And then I'm just gonna twist them in a little bit to secure them into the bottom part of the litter box. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. that nail goes completely through the hole but you will get it through and honestly once it's through it might not even feel like it is hey Franklin what you doing Franklin what you doing guy alrighty so if you guys can see this one's already been screwed as you can see pretty stiff this one dangles right out so I'm gonna go ahead and get that back in and screw it on up There we go. They're pretty stiff in there. I don't think they are going anywhere. And basically, I'm going to go around the border and keep continuing to add the nails until I'm ready to add the top portion. And we will slide right into that now. All right, guys. So our litter pan is looking pretty good. We got all the nails in. A couple of tips if you decide to do this method I could give you is depending on how long if you do it for just the right amount of time and I know it is a time consumer but if you light the nails for a good probably I would say 60 seconds a good minute each and then you decide to puncture then it's going to go in very easily now it's all on the timing if you want to sit there and you want to keep flicking that lighter trying to push it in wasting time I will honestly suggest that you just keep it on there for a good 60 seconds then punctured in, it'll pop right in. I would still screw it just to keep it secure. But so far, we're looking pretty good. So I'm gonna let that go ahead and sit, let the plastic dry back and harden. I'm gonna work on the top. Quick other thing, you also kinda wanna make sure in the back that you kinda keep them spacious. As you guys can see, I only did three nails. That way, when you decide to empty the litter box and refill it, it's gonna be kinda easy. So when I pour it out, it's gonna pour from the back. That's why I kept it kinda spacious. Alrighty guys, let's keep this short and simple. So basically the top, I'm gonna grab it, go ahead and align it with the bottom pan, and then I'm gonna mark it with a Sharpie. The places that I have a nail that way I can add my super glue and my E6000 that I'm going to be mixing together to make a stronger bond I can add that to the top with a q-tip or if you can manage it with your finger a pencil whatever but I'm gonna align it because like I said I am about to leave and Franklin will have to use the bathroom while I'm gone if you're not going anywhere you can just use the bathroom you can easily just add it to the tip of each nail but I'm gonna mark it place it on my pan and when I get back it should be just about dry where I can just pop it on for Franklin so like I said I'm gonna mix these two bad boys right here together you can do it with a q-tip on a piece of paper whatever you need to do I'm just gonna do a dab of E6000 a dab of super glue then another dab of E6000 let that dry come back smack that top on Alrighty guys, so this is going to be the outcome of my litter box. Like I said, it's nothing perfect, but it will do. As you guys can see, a good look at the inside. Very spacious for Franklin, especially for a kitten. And it does have a few visibility and a very good opening in the front. All in all, I would give my method out of a 10. I would probably say a good 8 because it saved me a lot of money. It wasn't that much time. It was also pretty simple to do compared to paying 20 or 30 bucks at your local stores. And like I said, I did decide to glue my top on, but you guys do not have to. Eventually that is gonna come off, but as for right now, it is stuck on there. But when you decide to come back and clean your litter box, you know, you don't wanna change the litter, you just wanna clean it up a bit. It is more easier if you decide to not glue it on. But for precautionary of the smells Franklin makes, I decided to glue mine on. But this is a very good method to keep all the smells inside, to keep the gravel inside. Especially if you have a kitten, they are not sure what to do with that excess gravel on their feet. So they are going to check it out.
What you doing, Franklin? Exploring. You looking for a spot to pee pee? Oh. Oh, you just playing around. I think he likes it. I think Franklin likes it.